In this screencast, we're going to learn about Boyle's Law. Um, it's one of the gas laws. It deals with um, some variables, two variables. And Boyle's Law is like looking at this burger. And let's say that this burger appet was appetizing to you and you really wanted to eat this burger. And I'm pretty sure that as you're looking at this burger, you're seeing how tall it is. And you're seeing um, the, the rationality of how are you going to get that in your mouth. And Boyle's Law says that as you push down on the top of the burger, what's going to happen? You're going to make it smaller, you're going to reduce the volume by applying more pressure and thus being able to put it into your mouth and enjoy it. Okay, so let's talk variables. The variables for Boyle's Law are pressure and volume. So we just saw that as we increase the pressure, the volume decreased. And so if you remember, as one variable goes up and the other goes down, that is an indirect relationship. And um, it can be in, re in the opposite direction. As you um, decrease the pressure, the volume will go up. And we have to be careful of some units. So the units of pressure can be any of our pressure units. It can be ATM, it can be KPA, and it can be MMHG as long as um, in our equation the pressure units agree. For volume, again, you have lots of options. Most common, you will see milliliters, liters, centimeters cubed. Again, as long as all your uh, volumes are in the right unit, um, a matching unit, then it's fine. What is held constant in this case? Well, we are not manipulating the number of moles and we are not changing the temperature of the reaction. So let's talk equation for Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law says pressure and volume. Okay, So um, if you followed along, as you increase the pressure, the volume decreases, and as you decrease the pressure, the volume increases, um, vice versa. So the equation is going to be P1V1 equals P2V2. And what that's saying is that Whatever you take the, fr the first pressure times the first volume, it will always equal a constant, which can also equal the second pressure times the second volume. So here's where it matters if the pressure is in atmospheres. On um, this side, the pressure is in atmospheres. Then over here, the pressure needs to be in atmospheres. And it's, it, you'll be able to do a good self-check and look at it and go, okay, well, if the pressure is going up, the volume should go down. So whenever you're done with um, solving these problems, you should go back and look at your answer and say, does it make sense? All right, let's look at a sample problem. A sample problem says, a sample of neon gas occupies a volume of 7.5 milliliters at STP. What would the new volume be if the pressure were changed to 95.7 kPa? So we need to look at this problem and identify the information that they give us. They tell us that we have 7.5 milliliters. They tell us STP. Um, they ask us about a new volume. And they tell me that I have a pressure of 95.7 kPa. All right, so um, we're working with Boyle's Law. So the equation we're using is P1V1 equals P2V2. Okay. So let's identify the variables. Um, they're telling us a couple of things. We have 7.5 uh, milliliters, and we know that milliliters is a volume. They tell us STP, and STP from your previous screencast means standard temperature and pressure. So they're telling us that we have a pressure there um, that is standard, but we're not sure which one of the ones we're going to pick, so let's read on. Um, they're asking me for the new volume, so we're going to be finding a volume, and they give us a pressure of 95.7 kPa, and that is a pressure. All right, so um, the STP, standard temperature and pressure, can stand for 1 atm, 101.3 kPa or 760 millimeters of mercury. So in this case, the most reasonable number to use would be the 101.3 kPa because it's the same unit as the pressure that they gave us. 
okay, and they don't mention temperature anymore, so we're going to assume that temperature is constant, and that's good because there is no temperature variable in our, um, our gas law. So our initial numbers were 7.5 milliliters, so that's 1, and at STP, so 101.3 kPa, that's pressure 1, and we're finding a new volume at the pressure when we've changed it to 95.7 kPa. So it's kind of important to match up the, the numbers that um, are part of a pair. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug these numbers in 7.5 times the 101.3 equals V2 times 95.7. And you would multiply your first two numbers and then divide by the third number. And you would then get a volume for the second one of 7.9 milliliters. Now, if we go back and think about this, our um, pressure went from 101.3 down to 95.7, so our um, volume should increase to 7.9, and that makes sense. All right, for this problem, um, it says a canister of gas takes up 355 milliliters at a pressure of 757 millimeters of mercury. What would the pressure need to be to change the volume to 100 milliliters? Um, all right, so I want you to solve this problem, and you are going to um, submit your work and your answer to the assignment prompt in Schoology for homework for this assignment.